Folks, when I look at verses 6 through verse 11, I see that Jesus Christ is the giver and the gift of life. He is the prize that paid the price. He is the cure to the curse of man. The Bible says, Cursed is the man that hangeth from a tree, and we are cursed with a curse, for we have sin in our life. And we need someone to take that sin and remove it from us. The sin problem that we have is who we are and we cannot face a holy God as long as we have a sin problem in our life and, 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 and we need someone to remove that. And you can't do it on your own. My frustration is as the word of God says, for by grace are you saved through faith that not of yourself, not of yourself, it's a gift of God, not of works. Lest any man should boast. If you think you can get rid of this sin problem on your own, you are bragging, and ultimately the Bible says that that's pride. And what you're really saying is, Jesus, I didn't need you to leave the throne of heaven to humble yourself and come down as a man to die on the cross. We are the only world religion that isn't a religion at all. It's a relationship. It's nothing that we do to get to him. It's everything he did to get to us. And when you have that mindset to think of what Christ Jesus did for us, and all we have to do is receive it, we just need to receive it, reach out and say, that's what I want. I want that mindset. I want that salvation. That's what transformed Paul's life. That's what transformed the whole church of Philippi. That's what transforms everyone in this room's life. That's what will transform your life. You gotta deal with the sin problem, but you can't do it on your own. You need to look to Christ because he came to deal with that sin problem and he faced it at the cross.